Hi everyone, it's Gail and I'm here with the Etsy shares. I'm a little day late. I just returned home from my retreat yesterday, so um didn't have time to film yesterday. So we're just going to try and play catch up today and show you some fun things and give you some announcements and information and that kind of stuff. So let's get started. This wonderful pile of goodness is from uh, Triple V Vintage. So excited about all my little things. I had myself a shop. I did a big old shop and it was awesome. So let's start going through things so you can see. Um, <clears throat> I have a couple of journal covers here that um, have the wonderful little fairy uh, fairy images images, and I can't I don't know the uh, um, the artist, but I just loved them. Love these journal covers anyway. But um, yeah, so I picked up a couple of these. I have an announcement to make about Triple V Vintage, and um, so this is probably a good time to do that. Um, Triple V Vintage is an uh, Etsy shop that is owned by my friend Veronica, and um, the some of the things in her shop have been created by her friend. And these journal covers are an example, the toppers, um, the glassine bags. Let's see, what else does she do? Ephemera holders um, and, and some journals. So those things are from her friend. And Veronica has been kind enough to include those in her shop. Well, as of the end of the year, they are no no longer going to do that. And uh, Triple V Vintage will be only Veronica's creations, which are fabulous as well. We'll get to some of her dyed papers and things here in a minute. And um, she does gorgeous ephemera. Did a bunch uh, recently, well, recently my, at my retreat, she was working on them bunch of traveler's notebooks. She does beautiful work. So anyway, Triple V Vintage is going to be strictly Veronica's items. I guess it, her friend is, it's a bit un, um, it, we don't know yet what her friend's going to do. She travels a lot for her work and she's had less time to create. So I don't think she's really decided, um, Veronica and I are encouraging her to have her own Etsy shop, but I don't know if she will. So all that to say, uh, when it comes to the glassing bags, uh, journal toppers, ephemera holders, journals, and journal covers, um, it now's a good time to buy them because they are, they are going to be discontinued in the shop. And, um, prices uh, she's going to do some christmas things but prices will be marked down after christmas is the other thing let's make sure i got everything yeah so that's the scoop with triple v vintage and um as you know it's one of my favorite favorite shops and i love everything that both ladies do so um so yeah i'm excited for for uh, Veronica's friend to have more time to do the things she needs to and that kind of stuff. But um, I really do hope she hope she continues to sell because isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I don't know. The fi the fairies just struck me and I'm like, it's been, it's been a really long time since I did a fairy journal because um, I did one for my granddaughter, but it's been years ago. And so maybe it's time to revisit that. I'm just going to take this out because I know this um, cellophane is difficult with the, um, with the lights. I know it kind of has a bit of a shadow, but, um, but yeah, so that's, that's the scoop with Triple V Vintage. You know, it's as I was visiting with Veronica 
we evolve, you know, our demands in our life changes, you know, um, we, what we want to do and how we want to spend our time changes. So, you know, it's, it's normal to have some evolution or whatever. I got these awesome bags at Triple V Vintage. And I really love them because, see, they're going to just fit a page of a journal just awesome. So we can decorate the decorate the bag. So pick that up. This is a topper for a journal. So again, this will go like on the cover of a journal. And I love the butterfly. So grab that. Um, library card holders. So this is fun. This is, um, I haven't purchased, haven't purchased these before. And I was just excited because they're so pretty. Look, aren't they pretty? And they've got the sticky on the back and just be, be stuck on your page. So yeah, just, just like you can put it in the corner. You can put it in the middle. Yeah. I just thought I will use those for sure. So that's the library cards. And then the um, glassing bags. Um, I love making them, but I also love purchasing <laughs> other people's creations. So aren't these pretty? I don't know if you can see in the, once again, I'll just pop them out of the cellophane so that, cause when I put them in my um, pre-made ephemera box to, grab as I'm doing journals I like to have them separate anyway because then I can see which one I want but yeah so some decoupage napkins some stenciling some stamping love them awesome here's another set this one is um the Tim Holtz you know I always love anything Tim Holtz and so thought I would for sure use these okay oh aren't they cute so little tim holtz looks like tim holtz tissue is there oh yep tim holtz i'm going to rub a little bit if you have mod podge sticking a little bit of just a tiny bit of baby powder and and put over it and it will not stick anymore so May have to do that with these, but yeah. So some Tim Holtz ones. Oh, more library cards. That's fun. <laughs> it's like, yes, it was one of those uh, late night shopping <laughs> trips is what it was. I was just like, ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. But like I say, get over there because who knows how quickly all this will disappear. But isn't that cute? So fun. Yes, love them. Then these are some um, floral whale tails. Love these. Okay, aren't they cool? Yeah, so love those too. And then, yay, some of Veronica's, um, Veronica's eco dive, which is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you. Yes, her eco dyeing is is so good. It's so good. Look at these envelopes. Aren't those absolutely incredible? Yeah. I really love to eco dye too. Mine don't turn out as fabulously as other people's. <laughs> mine mine don't have as profound um an outline so i don't i don't know how they do it to get it so beautifully beautifully coffee dye Ooh, that's cool i mean beautifully you know such a sharp image oh those are fun i i really love putting these in um these would be great in a fall journal but also uh in nature journals just in general and then here is some of veronica's beautiful 
dyed papers. I'm just going to like that because I'll put that back in there. In, um, in fall colors. Aren't they pretty? Oof. So pretty. Oh, these are gorgeous, Vernie. Thank you. Love them. Love them, love them. So. And the red and the green could be Christmas, too. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, and then she sent me extras because she's awesome. Okay. So... And let's 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 see what the extras are. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yay. A pretty piece of paper. And oops, we're stuck together, folks. A library card set. Look at how cute. Oh, number one, Gale, 3%. <laughs> oh, look how pretty. Yes, those are awesome. Yay, so fun. Thank you, Vernie. And glassing bags, fall ones. Oh, so pretty. Love those. Thank you. And then a mini glassing. So there's... Um, I don't know what the three by, I'd be say three by five, maybe these are. You can only see the one, so I thought I'd pull it out. Ooh, these are pretty. This is a Stamperia rice paper. I remember that. Oh, those are wonderful. I love those. And let's just see, she made an envelope and look at the, the kindness of a friend. Oh my gosh, look at that adorable card. Oh, well, you make me cry, Bernie. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. I love it. Okay, so that's Triple V Vintage. Get yourself over there because, like I say, a lot of stuff will be, once it's sold, it won't be back in the shop. So, just get all you have to do is just get over there and get yourself some like I did. <laughs> so, okay, so Triple V. There we go. So let me just stack this up. Okay. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Next, I'm just going to, let's see. Oh, let me um, tell you a few of these things on my list. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I miss anything, because honestly, being at my retreat, it, I, usually if I'm at home, I can just print an email or whatever. But I had so many, so many messages and I just, I hope I didn't miss anybody. But if I did, I apologize and just contact me. Um, I'm home now for a while. So, okay. So anyway, the Junk Journal Studio is having a sale September 9th through the 19th. So you have time. Uh, you might remember the Junk Journal Studio is the shop where I got, got the digitals for the Summer's Bounty that I did a while back, did the five journals. So, uh, yeah, up till the 19th, they're having a sale. Mixed Media Minnesota has a sale on select items through September, including the September kit while it lasts. So there's that. And then I wanted to also mention that my friend Diane, that is under the Big Sky Designs on Etsy, has seasonal items. She has Halloween. She has autumn. Um, she's working on Christmas things. I, um, 
I have purchased one of her Christmas table runners already, and um, it's it's not even quite done yet. But she does have things listed already in her shop that are seasonal. And again, Diane has um, journal fabric journal cover kits. She has these wonderful fab fabric collaged postcards and such. So remember to go on over to Under the Big Sky Designs and check out her seasonal. Uh, she made some awesome Halloween um, table runners I, at our retreat. Oh, it was great. So, and autumn too. So there you go. That's, that's what I have there. Okay, so from Paper Baker Creations from Anna, there are these wonderful fall whale tails. So um, if I can get them open. These are embossed. I hope you can see. Let me stand up. You can see those are embossed whale tails in all sorts of fall, an array of fall colors, shall we say. <laughs> And then, and then she's got some that are just, um, they're not embossed, they're, but they're the fall colors. So, browns and rusts and oranges and greens and yellows. Awesome. Thank you, Anna. Those are wonderful. Those are terrific. So, for your fall journals, we have that. Okay, let's see. What else? Okay, well, this is on top, so we'll do this next. September 15th, as always. Oh, my gosh, they sent the wrong size. Well, that's okay. I'll have to give it to one of my friends. But I can show you. So this is the September Gales Artware on my merch shop. Um, and I, I love it because it's, you know, it's got the, got the rusts and the teals and all. And so, yeah, so that's, that's what we have going here. So those will be in the shop on, uh, September 15th. So, okay. Now let's see. Uh, what else do we have? I'm going to do these, I think, first. Oh, these are from Deb at Artsology. I ordered some more of her sacks. Love these. Let me see where to have, where this one opens. Yeah, so let's see. I absolutely love... She prints on these sacks. It's just the coolest thing ever. Oh, and she, she has... Guest checks. I love these. They're bigger than a real than a real live guest check. Those are awesome. And layaway tags. So artsology. So those are a couple of digitals that she sent along. And then she um, sent the printed bags. Aren't those fabulous? Yeah, I just think they're I just think they're awesome. And black and white and oh let's put, pop this over aren't those so fun and so with these um, as you can tell they're generally they're going to be bigger than your page if you're doing like a, a 9 by 12 journal or whatever and so what happens is I just fold them in half and pop them around a page and you've got a pocket here. And then on this side, you can cut here and have an up pocket or here and have a side pocket. So those are Deb's fabulous sacks. Love those. And these are awesome. These are awesome. I'm gonna have fun playing with those too. Thank you so much, Deb. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, so that's that. Then this, what is, what, what, what is this? Okay, this is from a gal named Janara. Oh, 
And this was more a happy mail thing, but I'm not sure how she got my address because as you remember, you I do not do happy mail, but I don't think, I mean, I don't accept it. It, it just got to be too overwhelming. So she did a little cute little journal there, but very sweet of her. And I do appreciate it. It's just that I, I can't accept it from everyone, but she has a kind, kind is the future shirt here. And then, um, and then like a little, uh, table runner. So thank you, Janara. Um, I appreciate it. But again, I, I, I don't accept happy mail normally, um, unless it comes and I have no control. <laughs> okay. So I'll set that aside. Um, yeah, I have everything stacked and really, it, I'm so, usually very organized about my Etsy share stuff, but this time I'm feeling not so organized because I just came from my retreat. Okay, Dee Dee Fargo. Uh, her Etsy shop is Two Precocious Dames. <laughs> from watching um, Dee Dee's YouTube channel, I think she's precocious. I think she's adorable. So they've got some coffee dyeing here that she sent me. Some guest checks. They're awesome. And some coffee dyed paper. With the doily imprints on it. So very pretty. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Dee Dee. So, um, yeah, two, the number two, Precocious Dames. So, as always, all these shops will be in the description box under the video. Okay, so there is that. That is from Dee Dee. All right, now, let's see. Last but never least is our friend Took from Took's Craft Table. And Took has sent a, a bunch of awesomeness. <laughs> so let me just take it. I still have it in the box. Let me take it out of the box. Oh my goodness, she sent digitals. I love her digitals. Okay. Okay, we've got some stuff to look at here. Let me remove the box. Pop it down there. Okay. Well, let's look at this stuff first, and then we'll check out her digitals. So, oh, sweet Tuke. Look at how cute is that? The little, love that. Okay. And, okay. <laughs> she says, sorry for the ginormous box. <laughs> oh, please select whatever you think's worth sharing. All your stuff is worth sharing, too. So maybe this is just, is this just, oh, yeah, this is just, this is just to use, whereas this is her note. Okay. Oh, very fun. Okay, Took, let's see what you sent in your ginormous box. <laughs> How funny is that? She's so adorable. Random ephemera pack. Those are always fun. Um, I actually had a pack, I can't remember who it was from, at my um, at my retreat like this, and I just created with this. You know, it's fun to challenge yourself to, okay, I'm going to just, you know, with scraps and whatnot, just make some fun things out of your ephemera, random ephemera um, packs. So, oh, thank you, too. Yes, I will definitely use all of this. This is so fun. Oh, my goodness, look at that. That's really cool. Yeah, so guest checks and tags and time cards and such. That's an awesome pack, too. Look at this beautiful paper. Oh, I just love this kind of fabric-y paper-looking stuff. Okay, so that's a random ephemera pack. Took's craft table. She'll be linked to. Okay, I can get it back in there easily. So we'll just set it aside and move on. Random mini glassine bags with tickets. Oh, look at how cute. So um, 
These are the mini glass scenes. Look at how tiny they are. How fun is that? And then, um, and then these are the little glassine bags with the tickets in them. Super fun. Those are really cute. Oh, yes. Those are really fun, too. They're... And then what do we have here? We've got a Rolodex card and a beautiful journal card. And, oops, there's one on the back. This is fun, the way she's done this time card with the stamping. How cute is that? Okie dokie, what else, Took? What else have you been up to? I told her I was excited to see what she's been what she's been doing. She got all moved and everything and now she's just having you know, some creative time. That's a beautiful glass scene. Oh, let's see here. Inspiration word stickers set one. So I think that's probably what's in here, is what I'm guessing. This up. Thank you, Took. You took a lot of time and care doing all this. Oh, aren't these fun? So appreciate life. Appreciate just wonderful little words. And how cute are those? Those are wonderful. Oh, very fun. Okay. And that is, looks like it's a digital, and she's she's just printed it out for me. Inspirational word sticker, set one. 12 stickers with words. There are four tones. There are 48 stickers in total. Can be used for embellishment or any addition to journaling page or cards or tags. So I, I'm not clear if that's a, if it's a digital and she... I don't think so. I think they're the, just they just come like this, and she just she just made something to kind of explain them. I think that's correct, and my apologies if not. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oopsie. Postcard and tag starter kit. Look how wonderfully she packages everything. How cute is that? Okay. So she's got a little cluster in there. She's got a um, letter seal, tickets, and little tea cardy sort of things, stickers, playing cards, got a bottle cap, some um, washi stickers and tiny tags. And some cards. Oh, there's one of those sweet little. Maybe this says who the author is. Fairies of the Autumn. Cicely Mary Barker. The estate of Cicely Mary Barker. So. These are some fun. Um, just book pages cut like tags. So. Postcard and um, and tag starter kit, and then some old book page. So, oh man, we're gonna have some fun playing with some of this ephemera. I'm gonna do. I'll do an upcoming video just with just with playing with an ephemera set, just so you can see all the fun things you can make. Okay, and then this is I don't know what this is. Let's check it out. Oh, a pretty piece of fabric. Just some lovely pieces of fabric. And so she's, that's a great way to share your fabric. They're like real thick fabric strips. I mean, you know, what is it? Like four inches or so? Yeah, four inches or so. So beautiful little fabrics from Toque. Okay, and then I am... Kind of dying to see what this is. Look at this. Oh, Took. She is amazing, that girl. Let's see. So this is 
oh my gosh, it's a ephemera holder. And she's filled it with labels and things. Oh my goodness, labels included in this folio are brown botanical and picture labels, uh, black, blue, blue, green, and there's the blue and green also, and red. Oh my goodness, these are awesome. So I'm sure the, these are her digitals. Look, so I have a, my very own toque bag, or toque bag, toque, toque book. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've told this story before, um, toque knows that my son, when he was a little boy, had an imaginary friend named Toque. And so when I first met Toque, I was like, oh my gosh, oh, look at this. Um, I said, oh my gosh, you have the same name as my son's imaginary friend. His imaginary friend, Toque, lived under his bed. <laughs> and anything that mischie mischievous that went on was always Took's fault. <laughs> so, oh, this is fabulous. Thank you so much, Took. Oh my goodness. That is just, oh, you spoiled me. You spoiled me. Okay. Let's look at some of her gorgeous digitals. Oh, I'm excited. Through the looking glass. Uh-oh. I've been getting comments that I need to do a Need to do an Alice in Wonderland. And here we go. So let me zero in because the rest of these are going to be. Oh, let me just hold on to you. I'm sorry I made it wiggle a little bit. How's that? About right there. Okay. On the, th on the three inch lines, pretty good. Okay. Let's flip through. Oh my gosh. Aren't those fun? Wow. Oh, Took, you got me all set up for the old Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I absolutely love this, too. This is so pretty. Mm, so pretty. Okay, well, we'll get her done one of these days, okay? So fun. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. I love it, too. Okay, so that is that. And then there's an add-on as well. So let's look at the add-on. With fussy cut things and journal cards, you know, tags, ephemera pieces, belly bands or pockets, Bookmarks or side tucks, journal cards, pockets. Hope I'm not going too fast, but there's a good bit to show you here. So look at that envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? That one too. There's the Cheshire Cat. Oh, Alice. Oh, Alice. This looks, this is just really fun. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That is so, it's so pretty. Okay, through the looking glass. Okay, let's see, where can I decide where to set these? This one is Seaside Memories. This one is called, and it's journal pages and add-ons again. And these, as I said, Seaside. Oh, look, isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's beautiful. Took does a fabulous job on her digitals, I feel. I think they're beautiful. Oh, that's so, so cute. So cute. And little jellyfish on the on the reverse side here. Oh, those are wonderful. Okay, let's see the add-ons. Because again, it'll be tags and tags and journal cards and such the circles 
I think most digital makers, you know, kind of have a, a formula for their, for their digitals. Look at how beautiful that is, you know, with the tags and the envelopes and stuff. And then, then they can just change what they offer with, oh, aren't those fun? Um, you know, change the images to go with each kit and such. So really cool. These are fun because they've got a little tab that you could put on a tag that you put in this pocket. This is beautiful too. I love this. Um, I have never done a beach journal. I live in Montana. You know, what do I know from beaches? But this is beautiful. This one, this one gets me going. This inspires me. I love this. Because we've got some vintage things in along with it is how, how it seems. So that one's Seaside Memories. Okay. I'll put them back in their sleeves once we're done. The Edwardian Edwardian Journal. No, start over, Gail. The Edwardian Garden. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I don't. I'm not sure what we got going on, but that's the add-on is very fat. Maybe she made some stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's look at the pages first. Get them lined up here. Ooh, pretty. It's not nice. Oh, these are beautiful, too. Aren't those pretty? Oh, I want to do a roses journal, and there's a lot of roses in this one. So, oh my gosh, look at that reverse side. So pretty. Oh, the pages are beautiful. Love that. Love that. Let's see what she did in the... See how poofy it is? Oh, she must have... I don't know. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's look at the pages. Oops. Oh, my gosh. She's made a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. Took, you are the sweetest. Thank you so much, my friend. The Edwardian Garden. So we've got the tags. I just love this. This is beautiful. So pretty. So here she's made, she's made up the envelope here, as you can see. Look how pretty. So she, she made um, a little cluster out of the bits to tuck the envelope closed and then here is the journal card and she's done it on a guest check flipped it over and made a pocket absolutely darling oh that's so cute too gosh very cool postcards okay and here's here is this pocket this and this and then she used this to decorate and then she did this you know as a library card oh, adorable absolutely adorable this one she did the pocket and then the tag let's see this is a little bit of an embellishment on this side she made this a uh, pocket and then the the little journal card, a little tuck actually. And then we've got a tag in here that might be glued. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we got it. There is the tag. So it's like just a page and then she has, has put all the pieces together. It's the belly bands and the circles more pockets these cool pockets i love how she does a little tab for whatever you put in there that's a great idea too envelopes Ooh, i absolutely love that pattern okay 
So then let's see what's in the bag because I, I don't know. I think there's, oh wait, there's more. Has she made up everything? She practically has made up everything. So we've got pocket with, oh, look at this. With one of these. Let's see if I can. I'm always so inept at getting these apart. There we go. And it's got a journal card and a couple of tags into the, and she's backed them with coffee dye. This she's backed with book page. Toque, my goodness, I know how much work this was to put all these together. Thank you so much. And then here's the pocket to be put on a page. I mean, this journal's practically made with all the pre-made ephemera. So this one, she's made a little envelope. We've got the tags again. Wow. And then the little pocket that it goes in. And then the flap on this one, she has the flap going over the pocket. I love that too. Okay, here's another pocket. And this time she's put a little, little mini journal in it. She's used tags for the, for tucks on the edge. Oh my goodness, Tuke. You are amazing. It's so generous of you to send all this. And then that goes in there. I'll do that later. <laughs> this one, ooh, that one's beautiful. Love that. Oh, look at how she did that. So tricky. So it's a rubber band. And she's just glued it down with one of the circles and made a, like a little ephemera holder type of thing. Oh my gosh, how clever. Toque, you're so clever. And then that goes down in the pocket. Here's that beautiful envelope. And she's made a little tuck with journaling card. And again, and the journaling card. And then these pockets are all, these pockets are all inked and everything, all made up. She just backed them on book page. That's what I do a lot too, to give it a little more, a little more heft, but it's not as thick as um, like cardstock would be, you know. So she's just got all sorts of bits and pieces there. Some more tags. She's just made up all the tags and put them on craft card stock. And then here are the belly bands. She did. She made all the ephemera for this kit. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Took. Well, that's going to be easy breezy to put together, isn't it? Let's see. I'll just... Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have some more. We have some more digitals. Okay set that aside then there is she's got some soft color background paper she's got kit one two three here so let's take a look see so here's number one and this is background papers this is kit one blues and purples little kind of greenish but awesome papers to you know back tags with or journal cards or use it as a background for some other decoration okay that was kit one here's kit two this is kit two yellow and purple and blue these are great too these are great. Really fun. Yeah, those will be great. Soft color background. Okay, and then this is number three. 
kit three of the backgrounds. Ooh, I love that one. It's like really subtle uh, texture in the background, but then, you know, light colored so they could be written on. Ooh, that's a fun one. It's got a little ink drip. Okay, so that is the soft color background paper kits one, two, and three. And then she's got two sets here of grunge background paper. Never too much grunge, that's for sure. Oh, lovely. Yeah, those are great. Yes. Really pretty. Okay, so that's kit one of the grunge background paper. And then we've got kit two here. Oh, isn't that pretty, that pink? Those are fun. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. So those are the grunge set two papers. And then we have got La, La, oh, <laughs> La Couture catalog cards. So um, these are catalog cards of like Victorian ladies. really pretty. So yeah, and a, cad a cabinet card so that you can just um, fold it and put it together. And you've got kind of front and back and then some fussy cut of the ladies. So that one's La Couture Catalog Cards, set one. Then we've got... New Adventure Paper Set. This looks a little bit steampunky. That's cool, though, isn't it? I haven't done anything steampunk in a while, either. One of the ladies at my retreat had one of these little featherweight sewing machines. I was like, oh, my... Was her grandmother's or something? Oh, this is pretty. Oops. Yep. Yeah. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah, so that's New Adventure. And let's see. I'm afraid my stack's gonna fall over. Green leaf vellum paper set. Oh, goodness, she made things again. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, so we have a little... Oh, look. Oh, boy. These are awesome, too. Look at these. These envelopes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, green leaf vellum. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone make um, make a digital specifically for vellum, but look at how gorgeous. Oh wow, this is super cool. What a great idea to, to, to you know design something that's just fabulous on vellum. Wow, these are absolutely stunning. Look at these. Oh, and so then she printed them on regular paper. They're gorgeous too. But you know, all these white spaces were what, you know, what shows through on the vellum. They're beautiful on paper too, though. Oh, and then she did the envelopes on paper. Awesome. Absolutely beautiful. 
And what an incredible idea, Took. Really, really, really so smart. So smart. Okay. So that's the green leaf vellum paper. And uh-oh, faux washi tape, people. I love faux washi tape. Faux washi tape set. So let's see. Ooh, fun. So she did, she printed some and cut them for us here. So you can kind of see how it all, isn't that awesome? Oh, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Bright, bright colors. These are wonderful. So pretty. Faux washi. Those would be fun on the clear labels too, guys. So there's that. Ooh, look at this next one. <laughs> ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Floral paper set. This is beautiful too. Oh my goodness, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Absolutely luscious, this is. Oh, I love this. So pretty. Look at that. Oh. oh. That's a gorgeous one, too. Well, I can see we need to go over to Tuke's craft table and have ourselves a little shop. Yep, yep. Okay, last one here. Faux Eco Printing Paper. Okay. Faux Eco Printing Paper. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. Our friend Tuke has a creative brain. These would be really cool on vellum, too. Just saying. Awesome. Beautiful toque. Those pretty. Love those. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, folks, there you have it. There will be, you know, announcement sales, all the links and everything. And I want to thank all of the wonderful Etsy shop owners for sharing their items so that I can show you and you can and you can get them for yourself. So have fun shopping everyone and we will just see you in the next video. Bye.